Hello class, welcome to another episode of Science Rules with Mr. Pierce. So today we're talking about relative density and we're actually going to create our own relative density column. So we're kind of doing a recap now. This is a recap for all you students who couldn't join us today. So first let's talk about the materials that we're going to use for this experiment. You can use a water bottle or any type of bottle. And then you're going to need some honey or syrup. You're going to need some high quality H2O, that's water. And we're going to need some vegetable oil. And you can experiment with different syrups and oils. Uh, many relative density columns are three or four or five or six layers. You can do a layer of milk if you want to. So there's all kinds of things you can do with this experiment, but we're just going to talk about the basic experiment. So we're, so this is a recap from today. Now notice very carefully, we first we put in our layer of honey and honey has a density of one in 4,200 grams per cubic centimeters. Why grams per cubic centimeters? Because remember that when we're talking about density, density is mass divided by volume. So we measure mass in grams and we measure volume in cubic centimeters. Width times length times height. That's three dimensional. So we pour carefully the honey in the bottom. Next, we pour our water in very gently because we don't want it to completely stir up the honey on the bottom layer. Water is our baseline. Water is one gram per cubic centimeter. That's its density. And then last but not least, we took this 200, actually this 100 milliliter beaker, and we carefully poured in our vegetable oil. Vegetable oil has a density of 9100 uh, grams per cubic centimeter, so it's lighter, it's lighter than water. So we pour our three liquids in the column, of course, less dense than all of those. There's a layer of air sitting on the top. Then we carefully selected objects from around the house or around the classroom. Anything you want to experiment with, just grab it. You're going to gently drop it in there. It kind of helps if you do larger objects first, because what we notice when we do our experiment, if you put smaller object, objects in and then larger later, they tend to get oily and then stick and maybe carry down to another level that they wouldn't ordinarily other objects. So, so we started with a, paper clip and we dropped the paper clip into the bottle and it sank all the way past the vegetable oil, past the water and all the way to the bottom of the bottle. So we can say that the paper clip is, the paper clip is more dense. The paper clip is more dense than honey and the water and vegetable oil too for that matter. Next, we drop the dice in there. I know correctly we should say die since it's one, but I like to say dice just because I always have. So we dropped a dice in there and notice how the dice, maybe you can see, but the dice is actually floating on top of the honey layer. It did not sink through the honey. So we're gonna say that the dice is actually less dense than the honey. The dice is less dense than the honey. Or another way to say that is it floats on the honey, but it sinks past the vegetable oil and the water. So the dice is more dense than the vegetable oil and the water. So what are some other things that we did in our experiment today? We did a uh, pencil rubber eraser top uh, that started at the top of the honey, but then eventually it sank. We did a plastic square unit cube, which originally was floating on the water until some other objects kind of latched onto it and brought it down. We did a kernel, a kernel of popcorn, a little treat that my son left me in my office. I clean up after those guys sometimes. So I tried that and that actually floats on the water. Or we could say it's more dense than the vegetable. At the very top, we have some items floating in there. Uh, we have a piece of a piece of cork 
floating on top of the vegetable. So we can say that the cork is less dense, less dense than the vegetable. And there's other various items in there, but feel free to use your own items from around the house. Explore the studio space. Uh, grab things, put it in your relative density column, and then make sure you record in your science journal if it is more dense or less dense than uh, the liquids in the relative density column. Okay, that's, that's our experiment for today relatively safe, relatively inexpensive, can make a little bit of a mess. So please check with your parents before you raid all the vegetable oil and make a mess. And thank you for joining us for another episode of Science Rules.